Hi everyone, it's Sandra with Bruce City Thrifts. Today I am back at the St. Vincent de Paul in Waukesha. I have just 30 minutes to do a power thrift. So let's get to it, let's hit it. Right away, there is a shelf full of glass, art glass, and it's very pretty also very contemporary. This tea set is by Burton and Burton and I do like the butterflies. It's very elegant. But the minute I spy this light green ceramic tray, that quality, I knew it had to be something good and I turned it over and it was. It is Hager and I love it. It's such a nice piece but for more than $13 I just can't do it so I left that behind. I thought this yellow glazed bowl with the hand-painted waiters serving wine was pretty cute. Well, there's something for fans of baked beans. But among the rest of these canisters, I spy this. And it's a salt glazed piece of pottery with the blue wa slip wash I'm thinking is it yes it is it is row pottery I believe it is a wax warmer and as you may know I have a friend who collects row pottery and that is a really un amazing piece so that went in my cart When I noticed the label on this crock, it was Laura Ashley, and that was a total blast from the past. It reminded me of the 1980s and all the uh, florals and, and the big floral dresses and floral curtains. And so um, I definitely thought I would look that up. When I did, I thought I would take that lidded crock, and so that one did go in my cart. This is a Fire King milk glass uh, loaf pan, bread pan, and it has the green meadow pattern, I believe it's called. I thought this was Polish pottery, and I really wanted to take it out and look, but it was taped in really good to that metal stand, so I moved on. This matching set of chicken pitchers. <laughs> was a little bit on the lightweight side so I found this piece a little more interesting it's a nice substantial piece of pottery but it was not marked and so I decided not to take it and I shouldn't be here among the mugs but here I am uh, that 3d unicorn was very cute this mug here is kind of the opposite of cute. <laughs> I don't know this character, so maybe, you know, maybe he's a popular character, but I thought it was a little bit unusual. Here we've got a nice gray 3D owl. This mug caught my eye. I liked the design. I liked the ridged textured design. I liked that light brown color. It actually had hints of orange and red in it as well. So I put that in my cart. Yep, I do think this is the real McCoy. And there it is, the real McCoy. But it, it's a nice, I love this round shape. It's got a crack on it though, and for the price, it's going to stay on the shelf. Here's another um, hand-thrown mug. I like the first one better. I like uh, this glaze is just not quite as interesting to me, so I don't take that one. This teapot drew my attention because of the unusual shape to it. Uh, I do like the painting on it. The flowers are really nice and detailed. The colors are nice. It's got a geisha girl on it and it's likely vintage but I do not take it with me. And now this piece, I don't know why. I think this is something my grandma might have liked. It's made in California, I believe. It is obviously someone who, um, you know, oh, this morning after, I like, really kind of tied one on the night before and is feeling it. 
today. So I thought that was too much fun and I decided I'm gonna give it a shot. Right next to it is this little pitcher with a basin. And what I thought was interesting was the hand-painted mushrooms. With that mushroom theme, I'm guessing 1970s, it was uh, not a bad piece, but it wasn't something I felt like I needed to bring with me. I was rushing so fast when I was filming this part of the video that I wasn't giving you a chance to even look at what I was picking up. So I slowed the video down so that you could get a chance to look at the pieces. Okay, so I think you must already be feeling it, right? This was pottery heaven today at St. Vinny's. Look at that really lovely oil lamp with the beautiful blue glaze. This piece uh, looked like it was um, maybe by Native Americans. Got some glass stuck in here, but art glass stuck in here amongst all this pottery. I definitely like that yellow swirl, but I didn't think it was a particularly valuable piece. This uh, ceramic plate was made in China, so not as remarkable as the other things on the shelf that we're looking at. We've got a country crock with a rooster here. To the left is a beautiful pillar candle holder. It is signed by the artist on the bottom in that green glaze. It's just beautiful. And this piece is the one that finally I felt like I had to take. It's it's like a it's an Ikebana style round flat vase. And this one, look at that glaze. That's just outstanding. Yes, I'm paying up a bit for it, but it's I'm happy to do it. It's just amazing. Now it may be missing a metal flower frog that would have fit in that little hole in the center, but I still think it's worth picking up. And the pottery just keeps on coming. This was a really unusual piece, handmade for $14. It seems to have some age going by the felt on the bottom. And it kind of reminds me of those anatomical organ body part vases that the crazy lamp lady found. Back here was a Peruvian piece for about seven dollars, you know, six and change. I think that three-dimensional hawk, eagle, that bird on the front really makes it super cool. Um, and um, some our glass speckled in amongst all this pottery, but I was pretty much in pottery mode, not in glass mode <laughs> this time. I passed it by. And on this bottom shelf, I really liked this oval footed dish. I don't recognize the mark there, but it was also a nice piece of pottery. It appeared to have the initials SH, but the logo seemed to be at two S's. So if you know, let me know. We're not done with the pottery yet. Here's a nice hand-thrown bowl with some um, interesting glaze, blues and browns, naturals. And here's a drip glaze vase, some mottled blues and dripping into greens, into browns, uh, very mid-century looking. And then here we go. Is it more row? It is. I am scoring on the row pottery made here in Wisconsin beautiful salt glaze this is a gorgeous jug nine dollars and nineteen cents that's going in my cart and there's a peek at some of the things I have picked up looking at the tchotchkes here is and I love how they do label the, the shells here this just says birds and ducks and then pottery this is a possibly a Native American piece um, it has road runners on it, which was really interesting. And there was a signature on it. Um, then I saw this look like a very old, I wasn't sure what it was. It had a lot of age to it, possibly an old music box. Um, then more pottery. Watching the video now, I wish I had spent a little more time investigating that metal box because it looked old, but I don't know what it was, and it could have been something very interesting. This gourd, hand-painted and carved, was kind of nice. I think this metallic glazed vase is possibly Pottery Barn. 
And this is another chunky zebra, hand carved. I have picked up a one very similar to this very recently. And uh, this is a wooden elephant with inlay, quite nicely done. Um, another elephant so yep we've got somebody's elephant collection probably recently donated lots of nice wooden elephants look at that big guy back there very cool but I like the zebra <laughs> this I thought was just so cute it's a little maybe stoneware froggy trinket box or froggy um, I don't know what it is something it's got a lid and it's so darn freaking cute I had to take that with me this is another frog so somebody also must have donated their frog a collection today um, also a pretty nice piece but it didn't quite speak to me the way the other piece did and then more frogs yep we've got this little stone looking frog although it might have been resin and then this ceramic frog with the mushroom clearly i am attracted to this frog shaker but i'm going to leave him behind This piece was made to look like jade or jadeite, but it was plastic. Got some trinket boxes here. Lots of bobbleheads. This was a nicely painted piece of ceramic. I think it was part of a lamp at one time. It's my guess. And then spoons, another collection. Got some more figurines lots of figurines lots of trinket boxes jewelry boxes nothing really grabbing my attention though here's a nice vintage dish it's i believe anchor hawking and i like that heavily patterned pink depression glass here's a cute korean wedding duck they have that little bit of yarn tied around their beaks it's a traditional wedding gift and i have sold them before and i think they're adorable got some holiday stools here that a matching pair that i thought were very cute and a pig without a nose i'm a bit of a sucker for a wooden puzzle handmade wooden puzzles and i took a good look at this humpty dumpty and i did manage to leave it behind even though it was just the quality wasn't quite uh, tight enough for me so i left that behind but there was also another one of my weaknesses, a little toy wooden car. That one does not look to be handmade, maybe store made. And this jewelry box, I just thought the shape was outstanding. I think for a boho bedroom, what is cooler than this? $5.29, I really liked it. And I think it's going to clean up good, even though there is some scratching on the, on the finish. But look at the wood grain. Look at the different, um, look at the shape. I just thought that was amazing. So that went in my cart. Looking for some koa wood. <laughs> Didn't find any this time. And just randomly on a shelf, here is a wooden spoon. I just thought the grain of the wood was beautiful. The way they carved it to highlight the different stains in the wood. So um, yeah, I threw that in my cart for sure. I think these are called horn noggins and they're different makers um, these have etching on them or they're engraved but um, I have one that I've currently got on my eBay store that I think is a good quality so I left those for someone else I thought this was a really nicely made brass pitcher ha nice heavy quality to the brass Apparently I'm on a pottery jag today, so I did not pick up the brass, even though I looked at that and I looked at this one. So some good looking brass here, but nope, it was the pottery today. Who remembers the A&W root beer restaurants from back in the day when they would bring your food out to your car? Well, it was one of the first fast food restaurants I ever remember going to. And as a kid, I loved the junior burgers and the little mugs of A&W root beer. So feeling nostalgic, I put this in my cart, 
but it wasn't worth a whole lot, so I put it back. And another blast from my childhood past. Here are some viewfinder discs or reels, and I remember having this as a kid. I thought these might be worth a lot, especially because they're Disney, but when I looked them up, they weren't. So I left them behind for a Disney collector, someone who would really just be thrilled to have them. Giving the Halloween section a quick once over, and uh, that was just an odd, <laughs> odd looking pumpkin. Oh, kind of creepy to me. But here, the look at this beautiful glass pumpkin. Wow, I love to find a glass pumpkin. And this, this is the kind with the it's curly, spirally uh, pumpkin stem. It's a really pretty green with flecks of gold. I love it, but it's $17.19. And I am thinking, mm, I think it's it's a little high for me. That's a cute little basket with a witch and a cat and a pumpkin. And then I moved on. So here is my cart. I was super choosy, but there were so many cool things. I went with the row pottery, two pieces this time. I went with the Laura Ashley canister. I went with the fun mug and the pottery mug. I went with the wooden jewelry box. I went with the Ichabana vase. And I went with those two tiki cups, which I never showed you, and some frogs and a little spoon. Oh, my stars, is that amazing. I cannot believe all the pottery that I found. I cannot believe the pottery I found. Two pieces of row pottery. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous things. The Laura Ashley canister. I have never picked up one before. It's, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's, it's a winner. I could have spent hours there, but I had 30 minutes. So I did a lot of damage in that 30 minutes and I'm really happy with what we got today. So yes, I paid up for some things. Some of them I'm thinking of for gifts anyway. And others, if I, you know, if they don't do too well online, then they become mine. And I love the stuff I got today. So awesome. Like my channel, subscribe, comment, and come back again. Keep on thrifting, siblings. We will do this again here at St. Vincent de Paul for sure.